What's up, Marvel fans? This is Dan Series, and in today's video, well, we'll be going over some news we've been getting from Marvel from this week. And I'll tell you how these we've been getting over the week have been amazing. And, oh, I mean, some of them really, really amazing. And then, obviously, the last two, obviously, big news we got from last night was pretty big as well. So, let's start with the first off. But before we start the first off, um, I just wanted to say, um, last week it was glad, I was glad to get back to doing videos again, obviously Marvel News, because obviously last week was my first time getting back into those. I've decided now, when it comes to the Marvel News, I'm going to try to do these videos on a, on a Friday, because the rest of the week, well, I mean, I'm not really doing much on the Monday, but on the other days in the week, I'm really busy at work, so I thought I could use my day, obviously, when I'm not that busy, to come up with videos, and who knows as well. Mondays, I might do videos on the Mondays, depends what if we get news over the weekend. That's what I'm mainly doing, like I'm seeing like these pieces of news and then obviously put them together into the into a one video. So I thought, whilst we've been having so a lot of news this week, I thought let's make another one today. So let's really get into this then. So what do we start with? Wow, let's start with the uh, first one I noticed in the week. Now, we know in the la my last video, I spoke about when Marvel, the Le Legends uh, figures, obviously revealed a uh, figure for the Internals villain. Um, Co Con, or I'm trying to remember well, how I say his name again, but it's the one with the um, K-R-O, yes. And lately, obviously, days after that, I would believe it was a day or two, but it <laughs> doesn't really matter, it, just, it came out. There was a uh, picture of it in, from the back of the box. And you get to see the toy very clearly, and wow, looks pretty amazing when you get it clearly. And it looks like, because in the part of the package, in the back of him, you can see there's like these long things, so I thought that was like part of his back or something, but, well, I mean, you got like some like some long things there on his back, but there was like some long, longer, longer ones, but no, these ones are like part of his hands, they are. And it looks like he has the ability to turn his hands into like, Long, like long, and then in the end of him, he's got like pointy spikes. So he's kind of going like the um, symbiote route when symbiotes could actually. Well, I know um, Carnage could do that, like change. Obviously, he could change his hands into weapons, but that doesn't mean that he has a symbiote. Because, well, all we know that there's no symbiotes in the MCU, none that we know of yet. But a part of the um, fig, obviously, a part of the figure as well, we could see that looks like he'll have um, four eyes. Um, looks like oh, he'll have red on his, um, he's got red on his, um, head part. Well, not his whole head, but there's a little, uh, some bits where there's a red there and red there. So, looks like the comic book, uh, he sell, because he had red on his clothes, so, I was uncanny kind of over. But this was interesting, was the info. And it says here, a powerful deviant unlike any other, the Eternals have faced over the me millions, oh, I you know, that means, uh, well, you get what I'm saying. Core's Co appearance is the ha Hang Bang. Oh, I'm trying to spell this out. H A R B I N G R uh, for a gl global threat. Oh, so that pretty sounds interesting. So, really, it sounds like in the film, obviously, from that, there's going to be a. He might. There will be a global threat, obviously, involved with him. But, I mean, uh, I don't know if that's meant for him. Like, he obviously, he's going to cause a global fed. But we know as well there was possibly a, a newer villain as well. And he, like, I don't know, like, uh, a Celestio was one as well. But, well, that's, but from this one, this sounds really interesting for, um, obviously, for the Eternals. Very interesting. So, let's move on to our next one, um, She-Hulk. Now, this one came on the uh, in the week. It was the 10th, so... Well, is that right? Oh, no, no. I got it wrong. It was the 5th, so that was a, um, yeah, Monday. I was checking my um, day again. And on this one, we got news that's saying that, well, it's being rumoured that it'll, the show, She-Hulk, might feature a young Goose Banner. Well, that would be interesting, really, to see a um, of that. And they just say in, the, um, art, in this part of the article, it says the... Um, Obviously, that the show. Well, if it is true, it says the uh, the show will feature flashback scenes with obviously She Hulk and her cousin, obviously Bruce Banner as obviously as children. 
I mean, also as well, we have heard that uh, Mark Wolverine Wolver was going to make a return as Hawk, well, as Banner, but, I mean, well, I mean the, uh, when they said it like that, I mean, I was for, like, do they mean, like, in Banner, like, normal Banner, or, or do they mean, like, oh, obviously this is set after Endgame, and he's still Professor, obviously he's Professor Hawk, so I still don't know what's going on with that bit, because... But obviously, at first, it sounded like that, oh, maybe the She-Hawk is set before Bruce and Hawk became Professor Hawk. But I don't know yet. It, obviously, until we get, obviously, a confirmation of the timeline, so we won't know about that. But having the info like this, saying about a young Bruce, might be interesting, because we haven't really been told a lot about his backstory. Like, is he still the same? Like, was his fa like was his father in, in this universe abusive to his mom? Because we all know the back... If you all know his backstory, that's how he goes. Like he has a, a bad childhood, like with his uh, dad, really, because his dad would always beat his mom up, and obviously one day when when obviously young Bruce and his mother were trying to get away from him, his dad did kill her. So and then obviously that tra traumatized her banner. Well, it did make him um, felt obviously bad on that, and that's kind of like the idea of him, like. Um, well, about his character, so I wonder if they'll bring that into the um, to the show because that would, be, like I said, I'd be interested to know about his backstory. So that's that one. Now let's get to the to the two news from last night. First off, let's start with um, Full Love and Thunder. Now, Natalie Portman has has obviously uh, been uh, talking about the film lately, and it looks like she's confirmed that in this in this film. We will have her character going through cancer. So, that is pretty um, amazing to hear that. I mean, I know cancer, a, uh, not that's not cool and everything. But but the thing was, a part of her character, the comic book route, in the comics, obviously we all know, obviously by now, obviously when she became four in the comics, well, right when she made her first appearance in the comics as four, obviously no one knew who he was. But then after the reveal, when they told you, oh, here we are. Surprises! It's Jane Foster. She's Mighty Four, and then obviously after we, you learn about it, obviously you learn about oh she had cancer, and then looks like she got worthy, and you also learn that every time she turns into Mighty Four, the uh, cancer gets worse for her. And that's how the um, story goes in the comics. Now it sounds so. I wonder that's how he's gonna work the same, like like that way. Like does the her turn into Mighty Four? Does he get a get a weaker with the cancer? But, I don't know about that part, but there was a, um, like, she spoke about this lately, she did, I've, but, um, let me get, I'm just trying to get this up, um, there we go, I'll try to read as best as I can for this, what she said, so it says here, I can't tell you that much, and then I'm really excited, I'm starting, I'll oh, started to try to get muscle, muscle, well, obviously she's trying to get muscles, obviously, because obviously she's playing Lady 4, well, Mighty Four. If there can be all these female superheroes, the more of them there are, the better it is. I'm trying to think. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's it's based on the graphic novel of the Mighty Four, and she's going through cancer treatment and is a superhero on the side. Yeah, so obviously from that, uh, I'm trying to see where she obviously who she was talking this to, but. Well, I think it was one of those journalists and all that, but yeah, with her saying that, that's, like I said, that's pretty good they're going to bring this up into the uh, Marvel. I mean, yes, I know we've had a, a film we're doing with cancer, that was with um, Deadpool, but I was thinking to myself, I don't think we've ever, um, in the MCU, we have the involvement uh, with cancer, but I might be wrong, because I'm, in my, oh, hang on, but I think, it, obviously, that woman from Jessica Jones... I think, um, yeah, was she going through cancer again? I know she was going through something. But, yeah, I think she was. I, I, honestly, I haven't seen the show for ages, so... But obviously, I'm going to um, forget some of the stuff from that. But, really, what I'm trying to say in the story is... It's pretty good that Marvel wants to bring... The, it sounds it looks like Marvel must have really thought about this and, like... Let's add that to the um, film. And, in a way, I mean, from having that in the film... Obviously, they might. I'll say they'll, they'll give them a chance to try to do some advertising about this, you know. 
I mean, obviously, I'll say they, uh, if they're going to have cancer involved, they, obviously there might be some advertising of all the, you know, the cancer and everything, but like I said, I, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to deal with it yet, but for the film, I mean, it'll be cool to see how Jane Foster deals with that. So well, that's all with that one. Now, the next big news, we got a, a confirm that um, Benedict Cumberbatch is coming back as Doctor Strange in Spider-Man 3. Yes, you heard me right. He's coming back in Spider-Man 3. Now, this report came from the Hollywood reporters. Obviously, they booked, they booked the story first. And then part of their thing, they say about that Doctor Strange will be acting as a mentor for Spider-Man in the new movie. Because, obviously, now, um, obviously, in the first film, we had um, Tony Stark. And he was more, he was like a mentor to Peter. And, obviously, in the end game, because he's dead. So, obviously, there was no man mentor for Pete. And that was pretty amazing. And it was obvious we was going to get a new character from the Marvel, obviously, into the Spider-Man film. Because, like I said, Spider-Man 1, we had Iron Man. I mean, I know there was Captain America there, but that was just very well thingy. But, really, um, obviously, Iron Man was the big, was uh, who had it was any more with Happy, obviously. Then, obviously, the second one, it was Nick Fury and, obviously, the S.H.I.E.L.D. people. But, obviously, we, we found out that Nick and... Obviously, Agent Hill was Scrolls. Obviously, Tarwas and his wife. But that sort of count that we had someone from the MCU. Well, I mean, I know Spider-Man is an MCU character. And I'm just saying, it was interesting to have the characters from that world from the start to be in that film. But now saying that having Doctor Strange in it, I mean, in the film? Come on, you know what this means. In my last video, when I spoke about Electro being in it, and obviously it looks like he was teasing about Spider-Verse. Sorry that tells us with Doctor Strange in it. Sorry that tells us this has to be a Spider-Verse live action film. I mean, come on. I mean, what happened in Doctor Strange's film? Well, in his film, he's dealing with the multiverse. So, really, I could see this one as a northern multiverse film. Now, because obviously this film, the um, I'm trying to recall now when this one comes out. Obviously, we got... Um, that was it, because we got the... The Multiverse of Madness, that's me that is set to come out in 2022. Obviously, we, we're still having the news that Spider-Man's coming out in next year in December. Well, as long as nothing delays the film. So, in a way, it looks like um, Doctor Strange's first adventure, obviously obviously Doctor Strange's journey into the multiverse, will be in Spider-Man 3 then. Because, well, I mean, at first, uh, it looking like that his first journey into the multiverse will be in his film. But, like I said, as if the day for Spider-Man is out, out for next year, in December, fingers crossed, looks like the multiverse stuff will be will be with Spider-Man first, and that's what Doctor Strange will be doing it first. And who knows? Maybe if all this goes in plan, and it's out next year, and then in the story, Strange obviously deals with all that, maybe that's what gives him the idea that you, obviously, to do multiverse, obviously, in his second film. I mean, I don't know yet. I mean, uh, obviously, this has just got out, so... I mean, I'd say they've they've had some like they've done some um, scripts, you know, set putting his parts in and solve out his lines and scenes and all that. So I'd say they might have figured out what he was gonna be, what he's gonna be doing in it. I mean, I just thought about that as well. Like, I wonder if he's gonna have a big role in it. I mean, I could see it having a big role because, like I said, if this if days come out later saying that they've actually confirmed it's a Spider Verse film, I could see him having a big role in it with Spider Man. But I still don't know that how the um, identity thing is going to still be play a part in it. Because obviously there's been rumors saying about, oh, there'll be a court and Daredevil, She-Hulk will be part of it, you know. I don't know. I mean, until they can give us more info. And there is another thing they're saying about, seems like they're going to start filming soon, the Spider-Man film. So if they, that goes to plan, we'll be seeing some set photos. And hopefully we might see Electro on there. And then we could see, is he actually an MCU version or is or the trick does, and he's actually a obviously the um, Andrew Garfield's Electro from that universe. We just really had to see on that one. Right, that's all I've got for today. So, like I said, if there's some more news like today till Monday, you know, obviously if there's news like the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I might do another video on Monday to give you the news. But I don't know yet. We just have to wait. So yeah, so if you want to see these. Uh, well, obviously, these stories for yourself. I will leave the um, links down in the description below so you can have a click, obviously, click to them. 
Also, um, leave your comments down below. What do you think of these stories? I mean, do you find them interesting? And do you believe now, like I said, do you believe that, obviously with Doctor Strange and Spider-Man 3, do you believe this is a live-action Spider-Verse film now? And also give your thoughts about the other news, like the She-Hulk, obviously the Inhumans one, and the Jane Foster. What Do you th do you also think that's a good thing, that Marvel's going to bring up the cancer, obviously on the character in this live-action universe, on I my mean, film? Obviously, let's discuss about it. Also, give this a thumbs up if you like the video. Share this out to your friends. So, if they want to, obviously, um, watch someone different from once, they can uh, watch one of my channels, or my video, and if they like it, they can subscribe to my channel. And if you are new to this channel, that's what I do. I do the Marvel and Transformers Cinematic Universe news. That goes with the, super, the trailers, the Super Bowl TV spots. I always say clips, but can't promise you on that one. And then spoiler reviews, but on the film side for the Marvel and the Transformers. The Disney Plus Marvel ones, I might do spoiler for those, but I haven't really decided yet. When it comes to, and then the spoilers, I don't do trailer spoilers or... Obviously, TV spot spoilers or clip spoilers, because, well, I mean, later on, before the films are released, they do tend to reveal a lot more, and it's, like, spoilery, but I tend to avoid that, so I could be, like, obviously, have no knowledge of of a lot of, lot of secrets they kept from us when I go to a film, so you get the idea. And before I go, you will see me last Marvel News video, click here, my channel, make sure you click the bell, so you can be notified of my new videos as well, and here, you see me last Transformers video. So, that's it for you guys. So, I hope you enjoy this news of today. Thank you for watching. See you again soon. Peace.